Hi, I am Tanika and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my channel focuses on fashion, travel, beauty, and just overall black girl magic, luxury, leisure, lifestyle. So if that is something that you are interested in, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also go ahead and like, cause it's gonna be a pretty epic video. I will really appreciate it. So let's get into the video. Okay, so let's get into today's video. It is a luxury shopping haul. I am super excited to share with you all some of the things that I got. And if you're not following me on Instagram, then you would know that I was in France. I did a couple of videos talking about traveling to Europe. Um, we were in France, we went to Paris for a couple of days, and then we were in Antibes and Cannes, and we were also, uh, we went to Saint-Tropez. So we've been to France a few times. <laughs> um, I've been to Paris like nine times. <laughs> I think nine times or 10 times. So I kind of know my way around the shopping scene. So I'm pretty familiar and I knew what I wanted to do and where to go. But I wanted to go to, you know, Paris specifically to <laughs> do some vintage luxury shopping. It's just what I love. Last so let me get into this outfit and then we will get into the haul. So this is from one of my favorite brands, Fee Noel, and I just absolutely love this brand. I talk about her all the time. She's a New York based black woman. Um, she's absolutely incredible. And this was just an ode to her mother's country, Grenada. Um, and I'm just absolutely obsessed with this collection. I actually have on the full, this is kind of high. Um, these pants are wide leg, but they are see-through. And then I have like the swimsuit. And she just um, finished this collection up and she's launching a new collection. And I just absolutely adore her. So love, 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 love this. All right, let's get into why you came. Got a few things, let me show you what I got. First of all, I was super excited to get another scarf. My husband gave me my very first and only Hermes scarf and I just love it. If you saw my packing video, you know I wore it on the plane. Here's the thing, it's my scarf. It's my scarf, I'm gonna wear it. I'm actually gonna wear it. I don't have things um, that I keep like it's a museum. So, I love the scarf. Um, I had to get it. It just reminds me so much of Kenya. It has like this safari like print on it and just hold that up. It's just super pretty. I just absolutely love Hermes. I love their scarves. They make incredible, incredible scarves. They obviously make incredible bags. <laughs> they obviously make incredible bags, which we will get into in just a minute. Mm -hmm. But let me show you also these few Twillies that I got. You know, Twillies are like accessories for your bags. You can put them in your hair. I don't know too many black folks walking around with Hermes Twillies in their hair, or Twillies in general, it's not just Hermes. Um, so I got one that I love, absolutely love this Twilly. And I got this to go with my uh, her bag, you all. If you watched my haul video in uh, from Hawaii, my luxury haul video, my other luxury haul video on this channel, then you know I got an Hermes um, her bag and it's this color, it's the Hermes orange. And I just love it, it's so pretty and I wanted to get this to match. So I got a bag. <laughs> I went into the store in Cannes and I knew they were preparing for um, their fashion week, or not fashion week, I knew they were preparing for the film festival. And so I was like, are they gonna have a bag? Um, you know, a wish bag. But I went in, I asked for a Constance bag. Um, the Constance bag is, you know, it's more rare than the Kelly and the Birkin. A lot of people don't realize that. It is a cross body. It is, for me, I, I think it's an everyday bag. I've always wanted one. I was obviously looking for one in a color. And so um, I was trying on shoes. So I got um, this pair. I was looking for the yellow, which is sold out and it was sold out in that store. I guess I could have gone to, when I went to the George V store in Paris, I could have gotten those, but I, I was just like, you know what? You got enough, you got enough. 
So let me show you the bag that I got. This is her. This is the doll. <laughs> A Constance 24 bag. I am upset. I wore this on my last day in Paris and guess what? I wore it with the plastic over the gold. Yes, I did. <laughs> because I was like, I'm not taking this plastic off until I get to America. I use, This is the scarf that my husband got me. And so I just put that in there so it can just, you know, keep its shape a little bit, bit more. I, I literally wore this bag. I had it on the airplane. It was sitting in its own seat. Okay. Um, this is my Go-Yard wallet. And I don't know why I'm going through this bag. Well, I do know why. There are just, there are two compartments. This is my, um, my Chanel lotion. I was using the bag, okay? <laughs> and I just love the bag. I mean, when she brought it out, when she was just like, I have one of your wish bags, I was like, is it a Cali? Is it a Cali? Um, and I, I did say a Constance, but I was like, girl, if you got a Kelly back there, you know, hook your girl up. Um, but I got this when she opened it up and she was just like, you said you like color, you know, you said you like this kind of leather and I would love to know what you think. When she opened that box, shout outs to you girl. I said, does she know me? She must know me because this color, I mean, it is so gorgeous it is like a purple it's showing up a little bit more like pink in the camera but it's a purple it's more of a purple color and y'all the color block gods just get they just blessed me with this bag they just blessed me with this bag and I was saying to my husband because before we left um in, before we went to the south of France, I was in vintage stores looking for a bunch of different like Hermes bags and they had a purple 25 Birkin. <sighs> Y'all, they wanted like 14,000 14, euro for that bag. I was like, it's a no, it's a no for me. The bag was gorgeous. I didn't even schedule to go see it because that's how gorgeous the bag was. But I was like, I do not have a purple bag. I don't have a purple bag. And that's all I kept saying. And then go to South of France and here comes this bag. And I was like, oh girl, salt, <laughs> run it up. So absolutely love this. So I got this bag and I got the uh, sandals on at the same store in Cannes. And just absolutely love it. Love, love, love this bag. Next from Hermes. If you were following me on Instagram, Instagram tells all my stories. I mean, it's just, it just tells everything. I can't even, I can't even like wait to anything. I wanted to find vintage Birkins or Kellys. I knew they were not as expensive as they are here in New York City. The reason why it's such a coveted bag and people want to get it inside a boutique is because the cost is tremendously lower. But there are a number of different games. Some people say there isn't and some people say there is. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't know. Um, but I wasn't interested in necessarily finding out too much. And so I, when I do go in and buy things, I will ask um, and see what happens. But I went in to a vintage store. She came to me. She came to me and <laughs> I was like, what's funny is um, when I saw her, I knew that I wanted her, but I wanted to think about it. I don't know why, but I was like, I need some more time. I didn't think she was gonna come this fast. Um, it is the exact size that I wanted. And what I loved the most about it is it was actually specially made by someone who works at Hermes. And um, I mean, everybody who makes the bags, you know, the Birkins or the Kellys um, obviously makes, you know, they work there. But this bag 
was like it was made by a staff person so once a year you get to make yourself a bag if you would like to and so um it usually has a special color it is this beautiful just like decadent color in the inside i just absolutely love it i just i mean i fell in love but i didn't you know i fell in love but i was like i don't know i don't know <laughs> should i wait for a brand new um, and then I was like, you know, the Kelly can be brand new, but the Birkin's going with mother. So I went back, we went back the next day and we got her and I just have not been able to purr down. She is the perfect size bag. She is the absolute perfect size bag for me. Um, and I just love it. You know, it has the symbol and, um, you know, they obviously authenticate the bag. They talk to you about the bag. Um, it is highly regulated in France. And so they have to talk to you about every single thing. You have to sign off and say that they said these things to you and told you about certain things. If there's anything missing, they have to kind of tell you these things. This is a very reputable, um, you know, vintage luxury consignment. They do vintage. They also do just like luxury consignment. They had a number of different things. I mean, one thing about it, they had a million Chanel bags, a million Chanel. I mean... There was a Chanel bag on every single corner in Paris. I mean, every single, you know, luxury boutique had had a Chanel. But I was looking for, um, you know, a Birkin <laughs> uh, under 10K. Is that even possible? Right, because the resale market is so high right now and I believe they're about to go up in price again. So when I saw this, I was like, she's just absolutely stunning. And in some lights, she looks a little brown. And I, at first I was like, this may be a winter color. But then I was like, I actually have two summer dresses that go with this. <laughs> and so you will have seen me on Instagram wearing this with my Zimmerman dress. And my husband was like, get this. If you don't get this bag, if you don't get the, get the bag. He was like, I'm tired of hearing about this bag. So I got this bag and I am so happy that I did. I'm so happy that I did. I rarely go into Louis Vuitton. I just, I just haven't shopped there a lot. I have a few things from them, but I knew I wanted to try the perfume because people just rave about their perfume. And I went in and they were just so lovely. Like the customer service was just so good. I just... I really enjoyed the customer service and so I got a perfume. I should also say they gave me so many samples. I love that. I absolutely love when they give you like all these samples. So I am not even going to try to pronounce this name. So this is the perfume. I mean first of all the packaging. I'm a slight sucker for packaging. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. It's so just like florally. It's such a, you know, it's such a girly scent. I just absolutely love it. I will put the name of it below. I won't even try to butcher this name, but it is just, I love it. And again, they were super kind. I saw a bag that I was interested in, but it wasn't really on my list. And I was like, you know, I don't know how much wear I would get out of it. But I went in to get this perfume and I just absolutely fell in love. So love this. Okay, so I am going to start with Dior. Absolutely love Dior. And let me start with what I got for free. Which I'm like, yes. So they've been giving these out um, at a lot of places. I don't know what the threshold amount is for Dior. The spending amount to get this tote. They may just give them out to everyone. I don't know. But I absolutely love this and I wanted to get my hands on it because people are selling it online for like $500. And it just basically mimics the Dior tote bag and the box tote or the book tote. And I have a number of those. I absolutely love that style. I love to travel with the Dior book tote. I didn't travel this time with it and I slightly regret it, honestly. And so to get this, I just love it. Now it is not as structured. It's nowhere near the quality. This is like, you know, the sacks that, you know, if you, um, if you have grannies who travel like with this type of sack from to and from the grocery store, 
then you know what I'm talking about. But it's just super cute. Okay. It just has Next up from Dior, and I got this um, in, at Dior in Saint Tropez. A lot of things that I want to get are always sold out in America. They only have a few and they sell out really quickly. So I went to Dior in Saint Tropez with the intention of getting this. I could have obviously got it in uh, Paris, but I wanted to get it in Saint Tropez because I knew I was going to the Dior Cafe there. And so I'm super excited about this. I always wanted to get this. And what's interesting, I think y'all are gonna be surprised by what color it is. <laughs> Cause you know I'm a colorful girl. black <laughs> I got it in black I actually saw the black and fell in love it is so beautiful this beautiful bra I just absolutely love it so I'm gonna wear it as a swimsuit because I don't swim so I always sit by the beach and by the pool and I got this in a size large I know I should have gotten a medium this looks super super wide and they kept saying it stretches it stretches but I was just like girl I don't know and the quality is just so great I just absolutely love this I was going to get it in the white but once I it was just something about that black that actually just made me fall in love so I got this two-piece Dior just like bra and panty set and I have a number of these from like Ula Johnson it's just like a laying by the pool Kind of in the backyard at a decadent location and you're just chilling and you're just chilling so i absolutely love love this and i went with the intention of getting this so i also looked at the i think it's called the oblique pattern the logos was sending me i i it was too many for me i i don't know what it was it was just too many logos for me I kind of like I was like okay that would be fly um, I didn't know about this bag at the time well I knew about this bag but I didn't know that they had it in the store but I was like oh this bag and that that would have been cute but I feel like it's just for a moment and for something so expensive I wanted to be able to get my wear out of it so I was like you know what I'm gonna go with the black even though I don't wear it that much but I could totally see myself wearing the bralette with a blazer I could see myself wearing this just a number of different ways. So I just absolutely love, love, love. And y'all know I love Dior. I absolutely stand over Dior. So let's see what else I got from Dior. <laughs> so it is the perfume and the lotion that they collaborated with Eden Rock. It is a hotel in the south of France that I absolutely love. Every time we go to the south of France, we have gone to Eden Rock. Um, I love Eden Rock. I absolutely love eating lunch there. I love laying by the pool there. I just love Eden Rock Hotel. And so I saw this collection when I was just like doing um, some activity searches for our trip. And I was like, you know what? I'm waiting until I get there to get this collection. I am waiting until I get there to get this collection. So here it is. It also comes in a bigger size. They also have like a little body wash. You can get this in America at the Dior store here in America. You can also get it at like a, a number of different uh, department stores. It's widely available. Every time I travel, I like to get something from like the Dior store. I actually got this at the Hotel Eden Rock. Like literally, that's why I waited because I just think it's an interesting story to tell like my grandkids one day that I went to, you know, Eden Rock to get this very special collection. And I just absolutely love the Dior perfumes. They're just incredible. They are so, so good. And I think the story goes, at least the woman who was like, you know, walking me around the um, Eden Rock, the facility, she was just like, you know, the nose of Dior sailed. <laughs> Um, into, you know, it's, it's on, it's on the ocean and he intentionally sailed in to, you know, take in the scents and that's how he created the collection. And y'all know, listen, sell me. <laughs> I love a good story. I love a good story and I just love it. It is just so 
I also just finished my Dior body cream. So I got this body cream, the Eden Rock body cream. So I got these two together and I'm just, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm absolutely in love. The scent is, it just, it smells like vacation. It smells, it honestly smells like Eden Rock. And Eden Rock has these beautiful like trees, these like pine trees and it's you know it's always like slightly windy it smells like the ocean in the best way possible and like it's a little you know it has like that pine smell um not like pine saw like pine trees a little bit of pine you know like a little bit of pine in it so just absolutely excited that i got this i went with the intention of getting this so happy that i got this so one last thing from Dior, not from the Dior store, but I went to a luxury consignment store in Paris that I've been to a number of times. And so I wanted to go back just to see what they had. And I walked in and I was on one side of the store because I was really looking for like a vintage Chanel blazer. And some of the cuts were off, so I didn't really like it. Then I went to the other side of the store. I was like slightly distracted by a few vintage Chanel bags. I really love vintage Chanel. And then I saw this. This Dior, I mean, it is a full length sleeveless coat in cream with black buttons. And it's a size 38, a French size 38, which I was a little scared to put on because, you know, that's a size six. I can usually fit a size six even across my hips, but I was like, I don't know, because sometimes it'd be a real slim six, you know? And it fit absolutely perfectly. I loved it. Everyone in the store gave me so many compliments. There were some American, other American tourists in the store and they were like, girl, the skin in that, everything, everything. And I just adore it. I'm already like, oh, this is an heirloom. This is an heirloom. I also went to um, Galleries Lafayette, which is, you know, a department store in um, Paris. I wasn't intending on going. It was the last day and I was going to meet up with a couple of people, but uh, our schedules didn't align. So I was like, you know what? Oh, why don't I go back shopping? And so I ended up going and, you know, they have like a Jacquemus section and like Jacquemus staff. And I was like looking for the terracotta like puff sleeve shirt that has been sold out in America for a long time. I think they have like one on my Teresa. It wasn't in my size. So here she is. <laughs> totally Tanika Boyd. It actually goes with these Finoel pants. Um, I have I have so much stuff from Jacquemus's collection with this um, color and this fabric. I got this. I have this in the skirt. I'm mean, in the dress. I have it in the pants from Farfetch, and I will leave my Farfetch code below. I think this is also available on Farfetch, but I ended up getting this. I believe this is in a 38. Oh, this is in a 36, which is a US four. And I tried it on because y'all know the chest is non-existent. So I was able to get into this. And yeah, I was like, you know what? I had on my list, I wanted to go to like the Jacquemus store and get like two pieces. And then I was like, girl, you'll probably be in France in a few weeks, in a few months. So chill. So <laughs> um, I ended up getting this. And so I absolutely love this. This is like my favorite color in all of the whole universe. I stand this color and so I absolutely I'm super excited I got this I'm super excited I got this. let's get into Chanel <laughs> okay so Chanel was having a sale Chanel was having a sale so when I went to the dreamy location in Saint Tropez I was looking for very specific sandals that they did not have in Saint Tropez but I wanted to get something from the Saint Tropez store it had a beautiful pool. It had just like a beautiful, um, you know, backyard. It just was so gorgeous. I also wanted to get this like pumpkin colored uh, Chanel 19 bag, but I actually couldn't find it anywhere because folks were saying that 
they didn't have it in Europe yet. But I got these Chanel espadrilles. And I was meaning to get them in black. I got them in a 37, so I was meaning to get these anyway. So I was like, you know what, I'll just get these since they're cheaper here, so I might as well, you know, get it on a little discount. And so that's what I did, so picked those up. Okay, and then on our very last day, like the day we were supposed to fly, we went to, we went to um, the, uh, you know, we went to the Chanel uh, boutique in Paris and again, Chanel was having a sale. A lot of people don't realize that Chanel has sales in France and um, these shoes were not on sale only because they were like the last pair, but I picked these up. These have been running from me everywhere. I went to Hawaii looking for these. They were like, there's only one pair in LA. Then when we went to order, they were gone. And so they have these in a 36 or a 35. And so I picked them up in a 30, in a 36. My feet are mad small, so they totally fit. I actually put on the 35 and could fit the 35. We didn't know they were 35. She accidentally gave me the 35. And my husband's like, I mean, it fits. The back's kind of... But I, then she brought me the 36 and I was like, oh yeah, perfect. Um, so I got these in the 36 and I'm super excited to get these. And they were cheaper than they are in the United States, but I believe they're sold out in the United States. Like they're going online for like $1,500 or something ridiculous. Like I was not gonna pay that. I knew I had some European travels in my future. So I was like, I will wait. I will wait and just try my luck. So that's what I did and I'm super excited I got these. I got a Chanel bag. <laughs> so I went to Chanel. I was actually at the Zara sale, which Zara haul coming soon. <laughs> and I had my husband go stand in the line and he texted me like, as soon as I walked in here and told them what I wanted, they were acting like I was where the money resides. So he was like, you need to come. You know, it was a long line because again, Chanel was having a sale primarily on the shoes. So the shoe section and the ready to wear was just like packed. And there was about to be a price increase. I went in with the intention of getting a 19 bag, a Chanel 19, because it was going up by like 400 to 500 euro, which I think is the same in America, like four or five hundred dollars. And so I was going in with the intention of getting a Chanel 19 bag. I had to, I actually like the smaller ones. I like the plush leather. And then I looked at, I believe it was like either a medium or the jumbo classic flap with the handle. And I think in sh by Chanel terms, this is color is called light brown. And then I saw this little one and I was like, I just tried it on and I just loved it. It was just so perfect. Again, the color for me is not light brown. It's more like a sienna orange color. So totally fell in love, completely fell in love with this bag. I was like, honey, come hither. Got this bag, love this bag. I think this was going up in price. It, was, it wasn't as much as the 19 bag, it was a small amount. But while I was talking to the sales associate, my husband was like, just get the bag so we can go, because he wanted to get a bagel. So um, there were like a number of different women on the st over on the corner, because I'm like, why is it this many people outside? Because I literally just walked in because my husband was already in the store. And he's the one who stayed in line for like 30 minutes. And I was like, why are all these people in the store? I mean, I thought maybe, you know, it was a line outside because, it, you know, we're in the middle of a, you know, pepperoni pizza. So I was like, okay, maybe it's that many people outside because you can't, you know, they're at a capacity for safety reasons. They were all in the shoe section, trying on shoes, shoes flipping around. And the sale was good. The sale was like 40, 50% off Chanel shoes. 40, 50% off Chanel shoes. I moseyed and kept it moving. But I bought this bag and I totally am excited that I got this bag. I love this bag. It is so cute and pretty. And it's just something that I wanted to add to my collection. And just when I thought I was done, <laughs> I went to Chanel ready to wear. Y'all are not even ready, okay? You're not even ready. There were so many blazers on sale. They were 40 to 50% off ready to wear. They were completely on sale. And I saw 
a Chanel tweed blazer. I saw one in purple. I saw one in this shade. And I completely fell in love. But then I saw the coat. <laughs> Let me hide the price now. My mother-in-law is watching. Whew. This coat. Y'all are not even ready. Look at the details on this coat. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I mean. Is this not a, a, a Paris haul? <laughs> is this not a, a French haul? This was the la absolute last thing I purchased on my trip to France. This was the absolute last thing I purchased. And let me tell you something. It was everything. The coat just sealed the deal for me. It sealed the deal for me. I obsessed. Obsessed. I mean, you can't really even see the detail, but y'all, when I tell y'all this coat, I hope it came with extra buttons. Oh, it did. It has extra buttons and cloth and everything. Because these buttons, I may have to go get these buttons reinforced. Just like proactively. I mean, oh. Nobody in this house better touch this coat. Not a single person better touch my coat. This is mother's coat. I got it in size 38. I tried it on and it fit perfectly. I mean... Whew. Will you be able to tell me a thing in this coat? Probably not. Probably not. It is just such an incredible, incredible coat. Incredible, incredible coat. Love the color. Every single thing about it. So excited that I got this coat. Cannot wait to fall. I probably wear this in September knowing it's going to be 75, 80 degrees in New York City and I'll still put this coat on. Because that's how much I love this coat. Obsessed. Okay, um, I also got from Prada this like beach raffia crochet tote. Totally love this. I got this obviously for summer. I will be taking this with me. So I'm super excited to have this. Um, yeah, it's just so cute. When I saw it, I was just like, this is so cute. And Kennedy was like, you should, that's my daughter in case you don't know. She was like, you should definitely get it. So I, I, was, I picked this up and I'm, I'm really happy that I did. It's super cute. I wish this was white though, rather than pink, because I think it's like super, it's a little drastic, but love it. So a few additional things that I picked up from Nice Piece Vintage in Paris, which is my absolute favorite vintage store. One of my good friends, Rosella, introduced me to that vintage store. It is black owned. It's absolutely incredible. I got this Escada, just like super light, super airy top in this beautiful pattern. So pick that up, this beautiful animal print, and I just love it. I also got an orange, a burnt orange Celine dress that I wore in a campaign that is probably up on my Instagram. I think it goes live today. So um, I also picked that up. So love that. He just, he curates some of the very best pieces from around Paris, and I just absolutely love him. And then I got this white peplum with these gold button details blazer. It is a vintage, very vintage Yves Saint Laurent. I just, it's just very dynasty. It is a peplum. It is just, you know, it fits me perfectly. He like put it on me and it just, it, the fit was so divine. So I fell in love with it. So absolutely love that. All right, if you made it this far, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed this luxury French shopping haul that I did during my stay in France. I absolutely love to shop when I'm in France. It's such a great location. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like Black Girl Magic Luxury Leisure Lifestyle. <laughs> and also hit the like button, um, uh, you know, comment below and let me know what you think. I think I will have most of these things if I can find them in the US linked below in the description box. 
and I will see you all on the next video. Bye!